Hello, beautiful people. Joy Crumb here, and I hope you all are having a sensational Sunday. Listen, you would not believe where I am right now. I am in my closet. Listen, hubby is asleep, and I know sometimes my voice carries, and I do not want to disturb him. So what better way to come into the bedroom and get in the closet and close the door, right? <laughs> I know for some of us, we use our closets as a prayer closet. Some of y'all may have an extra space in your house that you call it your prayer closet. But nevertheless, that's that's where I am at this particular time. And so you got to do what you got to do, right? <laughs> <laughs> so if I seem a little fuzzy, the video caption is a little fuzzy. That's because the, the lighting in here is, is not as bright. So with that being said, this is where I am. So I hope you all are having a, 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 an amazing day. I know some of us are getting ready for school. So for those of you all that are teachers that are going to start by going to um, work next week or tomorrow for teachers planning week, kudos to you and I pray blessings upon blessings that you and your students will have a successful school year and that the angels of the Lord um, encamp around all of our schools in our classrooms and keep us all safe from danger seen and unseen. So I'm back at it again, y'all. Listen, it is first Sunday and what better way Man, when I tell you, when I was a kid and I would go to church on first Sundays, we sung those hymns about the blood of Jesus and any songs that had to do with Christ dying for us, you know. And I tell you, we take our communion. Y'all remember that? Yes, 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 yes. Those were those were the good old days. And so, uh, again, I'm just so, so blessed um, to have my mother's hymn book where I can go back and reflect on those hymns that were once sung back in the day. And sometimes we do sing them from time to time, you know, in the present day. Uh, anyway, so it's time to name that hum. So this is a first Sunday classic. Y'all ready? All right, here we go. Oh, that's all you're going to get. Did you, do you know what? The, no, that, that was, you almost got it. That's not it. Uh-huh. That's it. That's it all day long. That is it. If you said, lest I forget. No, lead me to Calvary. I had to correct, get it, get it right, get it right, Joy. Y'all say, Joy, get it right now. Don't be giving me the wrong song title, because I know some of us probably be googling and looking up stuff after I get off him. But anyway, yes, it's called "Lead Me to Get to Calvary." King of my life, I crown thee now. Thine shall the glory be. Lest I forget thy thorn crown brown. Lead me to Calvary. Lest I forget Get sin on me, lest I forget thine agony, lest I forget thy love for me, lead me to Calvary. Lest I forget Gethsemane, lest I forget thine agony, oh, lest I forget thy love for me, lead me. 
to Calvary. Oh, my, 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 my. Oh, that is a beautiful song. And you know, it is a gentle reminder of us not to ever, as believers, let let us not forget everything that Jesus Christ did on the cross for us, y'all. Let us not forget his precious blood that he shed for our sins. Let us not forget the pain and the agony that he endured for us. Let us not forget the forgiveness which comes to us through the shedding of his blood and that sin can no longer have its power over us. But we have the victory through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, through the power of his blood. Worthy is the lamb that was slain. Oh, oh my God. I think I better stop right now. But God, I thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. With that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. And let us not forget what Jesus Christ has done for me and for you and for this whole world. Mm. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. That's John 3.16, Romans 10.9. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. God bless you. And I'll see y'all next time for Name That Hum.